Reapers, the M252, the L16, and the Podnos, they're considered um, semi emplaced. Hey, Dozer. Dozer. Yeah. Are you having a problem there? Uh, no, I was just sitting. Hmm. Um, the M6 fires 60 millimeters. Uh, the Podnos fires 80 millimeter. Okay, so the I'm sorry, I got a reference sheet here. Okay, the M6 fires 60 millimeter shells. The L16 and the M252 fire uh, 80 millimeter shells, and then the Podnos fires 84 millimeter shells. Now each one of these has advantages and disadvantages. 60 millimeter shells, uh, they're light, so they're affected by wind, but they do end up going a little faster and a little further, just because of their weight. Um, they're good for fire support, indirect fire, and laying down smoke. Smoke is especially useful with these things for advancing. Um, softening targets, trench lines, stuff like that. The M252 and the L16 has to be broken down into two parts, as well as the Podnos, and taken uh, and carried around. This is useful for a mortar team. The L16 can be manned by one man, um, but it's not recommended. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, the 80mm shells, they're good for splash, area of effect and fragmentation. Uh, they have a lot more smoke, a lot more mass, and a lot more firepower behind them. The 84 millimeter doesn't have any distinct advantages over uh, the 80 millimeter. Maybe a one meter greater kill radius, but that's about it. Um, any questions so far? Um, range on the uh, 84 versus 80. Would that be another uh, plus for it? Another 200 meters. Oh, 200 meters. Okay. Yeah. So not not. Astonish I mean, the the eighty four uh, the eighty millimeter can reach out to two kilometers. The eighty four can reach out to about two point five. That's a significant difference. It's it's significant, but you know, if you've got a mortar going down, um, yeah, if you're two clicks isn't... out and they can't see you, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, extra range is always nice, but um, you know, you got to use what you have. And portability uh, the... is always a good thing. That's another thing. The eighty four. Sure. Uh, weighs approximately 50 pounds heavier. Mm. Yeah, there's your kicker. Yeah. So you get an extra 500 meters range, but you're going to be carrying 500 or uh, sorry, 50 pounds of extra agony motherfucking bullshit. Uh, okay. Another thing with the mortars, it is always high angle of attack, or I'm sorry, high angle of fire. Always, there is no direct fire version of a mortar. Um. No matter what, you're shooting way up into the sky where air currents are changing, and if you're not careful, you can land that shit right back on top of you. Uh, any questions so far? Oh. Excellent. Let's move on a little bit. Artillery. Where is the artillery computer? This is a D30. Uh, is it a J or a D? Uh, sorry, D30A. The 2A18M. This is a 155mm uh, artillery gun. Used primarily by Eastern Bloc forces. Uh, primarily Russia and uh, Western Ukraine. Uh, this is a direct fire version, but it's not super accurate. It uses the exact same ranging and, and uh, measurement system as the uh, indirect fire version. Um, yeah, this thing is crazy. It can go out to 10 kilometers, 155 millimeter shell, gives it an incredible splash radius. Uh, this thing can take down buildings and is almost scarily accurate, way more accurate than the American versions. Um, it has an artillery computer on board. Al yeah, everything here has an artillery computer on board. Um, great big fat muzzle brake, uh, and no need for handling ammunition or shells. Any questions about this? I can see why Trekkie likes them so much. Mm-hmm. Okay. Two-man uh, fire team for this one, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's, uh, well, you can operate it with one man, but you should have another. Uh, okay.
So with this one, you can do high and low, uh, high angle of fire, but also direct fire. So direct fire is having the gun at a very low angle with a very large charge and firing it directly at a target. So direct fire. Um, not much more to say about this one other than it is portable, so you can load it up into trucks and carry it around. Um, it's not great for shoot and scoot, but it is possible. Um, and the range on this thing is about 10 kilometers. Yeah, you, for shoot and scoot, you would normally do about three rounds, isn't it, for this one? And then you'd have to scoot again, because it takes so yeah. long to load up yeah, and load down. Shoot, shoot and scoot is generally three to five rounds. Um, from two to three guns, and then with the uh, rest of the convoy already moving. What's the uh, flight time on 10 kilometers on this thing? Uh, maximum flight time, maximum charge, and the longest range available is about 80 seconds. Well, that's enough time to fold this sucker up, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, this gun can be broken down it, uh, within 60 seconds. Uh, 10 seconds after the last shell has been ejected and the gun has been put to safe, it can be broken down in 60 seconds. Now can we do this in armor? Yes, you yes. can. Yeah, absolutely you can. Um, the advantage of it in being in armor is that you don't need to um, check for malfunctions or safeties or swab the barrel or nothing. Um, you just aim it, shoot it, three rounds will go, uh, pack it back up and run away. And you can already be out of the area before the... First or it lands. Started to hit. Yeah. Let alone counter battery. Yeah. Oh, uh, also be aware that uh, counter battery does exist. Um, so if you guys start using artillery guns like heavily, I'll start using counter battery. Like uh, using. Would you be using your uh, godlike powers, or would you actually be setting nope. up people? No, 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 no. I would. I would actually. I would actually place artillery guns down in a reasonable actual area, um, put a target around you, put it to one kilometer, and then have them go ten rounds. Mm. Yeah, our last campaign mission in the desert, we almost got severely wrecked by counter-battery. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Because uh, Tracky was just sat still with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just constantly throwing laser-guided shells down the line. And y'all sent helos and shit to fuck him up, and... <laughs> Um, mysteriously, it kept working and sending more shots. Mysteriously. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. No, I'm amazed that he didn't die. Uh, alright. Any questions about this specific piece of artillery? Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. Can we test out later, hitching it up to a truck and moving it? You can in a minute. Let me go through all the practical stuff oh, yes, yeah, first. Yeah. Like, like, we're gonna do the theory and then we'll get to the, the fun stuff. Ooh. Huh. And then comes the test. This is an Ameristanian uh, artillery piece. The fun one. Yep. The this is the M one one nine A two. Now this thing is a hundred and five millimeter gun. So it's got a bit shorter range, only about eight kilometers as compared to the ten of the D thirty. Uh, but the flight time is a lot shorter. The maximum flight time of this at any angle is about 60 seconds. Um, and you'll also notice that it's it's basically already hitched up and ready to go. Um, yeah, no need to unfold anything. Document. Yeah, I've got the actual, um, well, not instruction manual, but I don't know what they call them in the, the, uh, the, oh, God. What, not an instruction booklet. But whatever they use in the Army, I've got it right here in front of me on the screen. Um, to fold the... To stow and fold the M119 versions A1 through A6, rotate barrel 180 degrees to match the hitching point, latch barrel down, extend wheels, fold carry plate up onto back of gun, and it's ready to go. It takes approximately 15 to 30 seconds uh, with a well-trained crew, I'll be back. Um, and, the, and the maximum flight time is about 60 seconds for 8 kilometers. Now, unfortunately, it does have a much smaller blast radius because it is only a 105. Uh, you're sacrificing 50 millimeters for a shitload of portability. Um, way better uh, time of flight. Uh, as well as... Um, oh, God. Yep, laser-guided shells. Because the, the D30... And this is actually... This is a real-life problem in inertia. 
the D30 and their guns, they're 155 millimeters. They're way too powerful to house the electronics for uh, laser-guided shells. Uh, the Americans have found out how to do that, but they're not sharing, so, you know, whatever. Now, are there any specific questions related to this? Oh, no, none for me. Okay. So, yeah, 105, a uh, little shorter, and it's actually one of the, the, the same gun that they use on the Spooky, the uh, AC-130. Mm-hmm. Spectre. And uh, these are considered; those are considered in-place guns. Um, they are movable, but you need definitely need a team. You can't just have one or two guys pick it up and move it. You need four guys, a truck, gas, shells, another truck to transport all the ammunition, all kinds of shit. <clears throat> you need like an actual logistics system. So basically, don't do what we do. Yeah. Okay, here we go. That is a big gun. The fun stuff. Oh, baby. <laughs> look out, look out, look out. Kick flip. Parkour. So in front of you, you have uh, tracked howitzers. These are considered, these are called self-propelled artillery guns. They are both 155 millimeter guns. The uh, Russian one, though, the uh, 2S3M1 has an advantage over the Paladin. Can you guess what it is? Bigger gun. Uh, speed. Is it faster? That's one of them. What's another? Uh, what can what can you see is the main difference between these two guns? Look specifically at the guns. Uh, the Russian one is shorter. Shorter range on the two S. Faster firing for the Russian. Yep, Harrison got it. So look at these two pistons up on top of the uh, <laughs> up on top of the gun on the two uh, two S. Uh... See, how, see how they're way bigger than the M uh, M9 Paladin? Yeah. Or sorry, the M109. Yep. So its combination of a thicker barrel, a shorter uh, length of barrel, and those huge recoil pistons allow it to fire approximately 12 rounds per minute, as opposed to the Paladin's eight. Got to look me some Soviet block. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. The, the the unfortunate part is is that yes you're giving up a little bit of range for that faster firing but to be able to put so so the 109 has a uh, 12 to 14 kilometer range 14 is ideal 12 is regular for uh, indirect uh, the Sochor has a maximum range of 12 kilometers that so is you're absolutely... only giving up for two kilometers there are you you're giving up two kilometers for Speed four rounds more and, per and four rounds more per minute. So if you have range on that, it's dying no matter what. This thing can level cities. It is so fucking crazy. Oh, we're finally coming to the auto artillery, eh? Yep. Uh, you Hell missed yeah. The, uh, you missed the emplaced artillery. Um, it's okay. That's fine. Yeah, we'll, 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 you and I will have a little refresher. I know most of this shit, but it just comes to <laughs> shit. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, I'm actually gonna need some help on shooting it, because I do know most of the stuff, but, uh, it's like mills and calculations and shit hurt my brain. I just run the game, dude, I don't know much. <laughs> um, but another thing you're gonna wa you guys are gonna wanna notice, you somebody was talking about the armor before. Yeah. I'm gonna quickly turn these front onto you, and I want you to notice the difference. It's a lot more angled with the Paladin. So. You also have some very different optics. Mm-hmm. 
So, in my opinion, the S is much better because of three things. Look at the very top of it. It's flat. Nope. It's angled ever so slightly. That little angle allows the gun to depress a lot more. So you can literally do direct fire, haul down over a hill. I've used that when uh, it's the live campaign. I was using it for direct fire at one mm -hmm, point. Mm -hmm. It's fun. It's so yes. fun. Yeah. Um, so the shorter gun, unfortunately, you're giving up two kilometers of range, but you're getting four rounds more per minute. Uh, faster firing, and not only that, it has more powerful servos, so you're able to level the gun, lay it much, much quicker than the, uh, than the 109. Now, the 109 definitely does have its use. The 109 is absolutely wonderful in indirect fire. It has laser-guided shells, smoke shells, cluster shells, all kinds of other shit. The, uh, Russian one is good for HE, smoke, canister, and cluster. And that's about it. None of that high-tech shit. We're talking low-tier, churned off the production line, as many shells downrange as possible. Yeah, it's but volume. Mm -hmm. Basically, the Russian <laughs> military doctrine. Absolutely, yeah. The Russian military doctrine is artillery all the time, everywhere, forever. Yes, we remember exactly World War II. <laughs> uh, any other questions specifically about either of these two? Nope. Nope. Awesome. So the ideal speed for or the uh, maximum speed for the 2S is uh, 55 kilometers an hour. The for the Paladin it is uh, 48. Wait, is does the American version have a uh, uh, IR uh, thing, yeah, Bob? Is that what that? Has, yeah, the American version has uh, infrared laser targeting, or I'm sorry, laser ranging, um, self designation. It has all those fancy electronics. Uh, full CRBN system. 2S? Nah. 2S literally has, I swear to god, it has an infrared night optic. You see that, um... Yeah, no, it's got an Those infrared bumps. night optic. Um, and a day optic. For the gunner and the commander. They just had to put a coaxial up there, didn't they? Yeah. Of course. Uh, any other questions about these specifically? Nope. Yeah, my opinion, if the arty on this thing is using that coaxial, they did something horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Drive absolutely. me closer, I want to hit them with my sword. Yeah. These guns, these are designed to stay back. They are amazing for shoot and scoot. Um, the 2S especially, because of how quickly it can reload. Um, its maximum angle of attack, or uh, sorry, the maximum time of flight is uh, 80... 80 to 85 seconds. So, 12 rounds in one minute. You can get all 12 rounds off, close up the gun, and start moving. Can Before these go the in water? Round is even hit. Huh? Can these go in water? No. No, no, no. The, uh, no, the M109... The M109 is 64 tons, and the 2S is uh, 71. So on the verge of being amphibious, then. Mm, no, on the verge Almost. of going through the planet. <laughs> What's the speed on the Russian? Like ten miles an hour? <laughs> no, no, it's uh, it's actually a little faster. Hours. No, wait a minute, hold on. I'm sorry, I got those, sh I got that shit mixed around. The uh, M109 is 71, 71 tons. Uh, okay. Yeah. I was like, um, damn, that thing yeah. looks faster. Well, the 2S has a little bit lighter armor which allows it to go a little faster. So, the, yeah, the maximum speed on the 2S is around 60 kilometers an hour. And the uh, 109 is around 50. That's yeah. the, the maximum speed on road. Cross country, it's about uh, 40 for the uh, Paladin, or 40 for the 109, um, and then 50 for the 2S. And That's pretty good speed. Oh, yeah, especially for a giant fucking artillery gun. Mm-hmm. Okay, any other questions about this? Negative. Awesome. Negatory, Red Rider. Into the... Into the mall we go with the MLRS. Yay! Oh, boy. Oh, 
I'm sorry, I'm forgetting one. For the rocket artillery? Yeah. Yeah, the, um... What's it, the... Ah, uh, Chichuska or something? The World War II one? Katuska. Oh, shit. That's not World War II. Okay. <laughs> so here's the thing. This is New Age right there. thing you notice about all of these combined. Multiple launch rockets. Rocket tubes. rocket tubes, that's what it is. So, here's the thing with rockets. They fly for as long as the propellant can take them up to, and then gravity takes over, and flight dynamics, and all kinds of shit. And I can get into a whole bunch of topics about that. But uh, needless to say, the uh, maximum range, or sorry, the, the, the maximum range of uh, this uh, Kamaz right here, of the MRL behind you, uh, Terrison. That one? Yep, that one there. The maximum range of that is uh, 32 kilometers. So clear across the fucking map. Yeah, way mm. across the fucking map. The uh, maximum range of the M142 behind you, Graham? Maximum range of that is uh, 51 kilometers. <laughs> and the uh, maximum range of the uh, Sierra, um, right in front of you, Harrison, and Whistler, yep. uh, the maximum range of that is 61. 61? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, what was that no, YouTube it's, video? It's, so... it's, it's beyond the curvature of the Earth. There was like an IDAP video of like all of these fucking rocket launchers all going salvoing at once. It yeah. was just, just leveling oh, I'm, everything. I'm so sorry. I also forgot one more. Is it the World War II one? Do we have the Katushka? Mamushka. Let me let me find it. Hang on. Ah, here we go. The BM-21. Now this thing is a little bit strange. Russian. It has a maximum range of uh, only 20 kilometers, but look at the amount of tubes it's got. 40. It has oh, 40 tubes. tubes. Each one of these tubes is 120 millimeters. So you've got 40 rounds of 120 millimeter shells going out to 20 kilometers all at once. This is empty. Imagine like 10 of them. Just leveling one target. Yeah. Um, I'll, <laughs> I'll actually show you guys a little bit of something that I love and enjoy doing a lot. But uh, you're going to notice one more thing about three out of the four of these. What is that? They're truck based, not track based. Yep. Yeah, these things are designed to roll out into an area, fire most or all of their rockets and uh, then drive away. They are not designed to... Be shot at. Ha yeah, they're not designed to be shot at or have sustained fire on them. Or, or to perform sustained fire unless they're at a base, and it's a huge base. Like, an, not, like not an FOB, a base. Because every time one of these fires, you've got a massive cloud of smoke that you need to wait at least 15 minutes for it to dissipate to begin reloading the tubes, which takes about an hour. An hour and 15 minutes? Jesus. Yeah. So, Not quick. with these, with, no. with these, ra uh, these rockets, in real life anyway, uh, you're going to want to be quite careful about where they go, where they're hitting. Um, and the average diameter of these is about 300 millimeters. The uh, Kamaz ML, uh, MLR is uh, 310. The uh, Sierra is uh, 300 millimeter. And then the, um, the 142, the HMAS, the uh, little camo truck behind you guys. Um, that one is uh, 350 millimeters. Um, this yeah, one? It, Damn. Yeah, that one. 350 millimeters. It is. It is. It is. Fucking massive rockets. Wait, um, what does this have? Six on it? Yeah, six rockets. Uh, okay, I've I could barely the, see them. Uh, the M fire, but I've not seen the. What's it? The M. One four two five before. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually brand new in the latest RHS patch. All right. Yeah. Okay, can we have a demo later on? 
I I will give you, we we need to finish up the lesson real quick, but oh, yes. don't 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 you worry. I've got I've got something in store for you guys. <laughs> okay. So, any questions about these specifically? Mm, no. The way that the America one's a bit more armored. How Yeah. How much punishment could it take? Um about 1 round of 9 mm awesome <laughs> <laughs> yeah no here's the thing if you're getting shot at in an mlrs yeah. you fucked up you fucked up bad yeah. uh, mlrs are not designed to go anywhere near contact yeah the, like like the minimum the minimum range of the most of these are two to four kilometers that's the minimum range is uh is this one the gray one is this a jet propulsion uh engine or is it a diesel powered uh, jet turbine. Eh. Yeah, it's all based off of the uh, Merkava. I was about to ask if was it Israeli. Yeah, it's Israeli. It's based off the Merkava. Yeah, Fucking it Jews. looks like they've just taken the chassis and lobbed a... Yeah, they have. They, that, that, that's literally yeah. what they did. Yeah, they you've do the that for their troop transport the as well. They just took the chassis and yep. hollowed it out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, well, we'll get we'll get into armor and APCs a little bit later. Uh, there are a couple of things I need to teach you guys about that as well. Um, are there any? Is there anything related to this that you have questions or concerns about or anything? Mm, no. Yeah, concerned that it's going to shoot me. As long uh, enough in this range. Although, if you stand behind those tubes like that, it won't have to. Oh yeah, backblast is a thing, by the way. Like, like, I'm not kidding. The safe area extends 200 yeah. meters behind it. 200 I, meters? I'm not joking. I am not fucking kidding. I was doing Jesus. last week. And they had this, the fucking, um, they had the HIMARS, um, firing. I ran behind it 200 meters out and got knocked down and blood out. Hit. <laughs> Oops. I'm not kidding. It was, it was 150, 200 meters. Swear to God. So Which one was that? Mess up, just make the high Mars. The one, two, four. One, four high Mars. Okay, the three hundred and fifty one. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, it's it's. it's <laughs> how's your sex life? <laughs> I didn't do it. It's, I did it's not. like it's like the artillery misses. The artillery misses, and the commander's like, "I did not hit her. I did not hit her. I did not." It's bullshit. It's bullshit. <laughs> I fucking love Tommy White so. <laughs> Oh god, okay, so back on track. Where are we with this? Are we good? Yeah. Yep. Just be okay. quiet, push talk. Lister's hitting the... <laughs> no, I wish. They sound like it. <laughs> hitting the now, we'll move on to spotting. Ooh. Not yet. So, to your right, you have a spotter's scope. This is generally used for uh, snipers, but it can also be used for target designation. To your left, you have a remote designator. So anybody who has a um... UAV thing, yeah, that. I didn't even know that existed. Yeah, no, a uh, tablet. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna get you guys doing much more into drones and stuff. Oh, and the Mark Six mortar. Yeah, no that's, that's just connected. you know normal mortar stuff. Uh, it has basically the same stuff as we all talk about, uh, with the advantage of looking futuristic. But we're not using that because we're not fucking gay. We don't vape. Oh, and also, uh, uh I, I do. This this actually can be used for indirect fire, and it's it's pretty fucking hilarious. Ah, uh, it's a microwave it's emitter. Uh, no, no, no. Um, what it is? It is a tube with uh, ten rounds electronically fired um in every single one of those little slots wait 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 is this the gun that that's like uh, magnetic bullets and it shoots at like a million rounds per minute or something here i'll, yeah. I'll show you i've seen csi miami i know what this is can i just stand here it is the metal storm okay Yeah. Okay, I had 
my dollar, you know, earplugs. It sounded like a gal. It did. Yeah, well, it's 12.7 millimeter, and, uh, hey, real quick, look out to, um, you see between those two towers? Yeah. Okay. Alright, check this out. Oh. For some reason, I can't see the splashes. It's, uh, further up on the hill. Oh, good point. Alright, I'll just, I'll fire it at those Hescos over there real quick. Look. And, uh, I've got ten rounds of that. User left your channel. User uh -oh. joined your channel. Middle storm. I think Waffle went bye-bye and then came back. Yeah. No, I just, uh, disconnected because the game crashed a little bit. Gotta love your scripting. I know, it's perfect. No problems at all. There never has been problems. Shut up, Greg. I think it's Dave. Who's Greg? Alright. And remote designator. Now, anybody who has a uh, UAV terminal? Nope. Oh my god. I'll grab one. Error. My job no here. antenna connected. What's your job? Sneaky breaky. Got one. All right. Uh, go ahead and open up your um, your terminal. Yeah. Um, and you should see uh, remote to testing. Remote designator. Yep. Um, go ahead and give it a quick turnaround. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, I'm in it. Yeah. Awesome. If you wanna do, go ahead and push Q. Yeah, press Q. Like, hold it down. I'm um, holding it. Oh, I'm sorry, E. Push the E button, Echo. Oh, there you there go. go. Yep. Uh, Q and E, raise and lower it. Um, you can actually look over obstacles with this stuff. Uh, not only that, it's got a laser designator. And uh, if you look at a specific area, it should show you the grid reference. Uh, not so Yes, it is, I think. That's there you handy. go. Telescoping rangefinder. Yeah, awesome. Uh, it's also got a laser designator. Yep. Um, and, uh, oh god, what else is in there? Uh, there's the laser, the rangefinder, elevation. Yep, laser rangefinder, elevation. Different um, vision modes. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. It's got different vision modes, that's too. Yeah, magnification um, as well. Oh god. To 20 times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's so you can literally stick this up in a window on a hill, two mountains away from where you want to look at. Uh, any questions about these two? No, other than the fact that I like it's got a neck like fucking E.T. <laughs> <laughs> no! I know, it's perfect. Um, unfortunately, that's it for static rangefinders and, and scopes and stuff. Um, drones, though. Drones, on the other hand, I think you guys are going to like. I tried flying one of those things. Uh, the small ones. Um, okay. The USS Freedom. I like that. What the fuck? Oh, don't forget the demining drone. That's always fun. That team mining drone looks like a little bitch next to this thing. Yeah. I know. No, no, that's a. <clears throat> that's just that a, is a uh, dart. Yeah. yeah, so that's got the laser designator. Oh, there are little bitches next to this baby. <laughs> Ooh, well, um, here's the thing. Every the single one, one of these. Every single one of these has um, has one thing in common. And that is oh, I'm sorry. Except for the uh, RCWS, 
So the RCWS is considered a combat variant. <clears throat> Please stop littering. Um, so this one right behind you, Harrison. Stomper. Okay. Yep, the Stomper. This one has a little camera up top. So this is like a mobile laser designator. It has the exact same capabilities. Um, IR, NVG. The only difference is that it can only zoom up to, I think, 12 times or 10 times. Uh, no turret, but it's able to hold one person um, and move around with you guys. It can carry, I think, 200 pounds of gear. Uh, so any extra ammo or shit that you need, Era, you're going to put in here. No antenna connected. Uh, the RCWS version can only carry 50 pounds of gear. It can carry one person and does not have access to the uh, internal front-facing camera. It has a grenade launcher on it. It has a grenade launcher and a 12.7 millimeter gun. That's a pretty big gun. Yep, and it's a totally stabilized platform. Um, it's 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 fucking crazy. <laughs> like it'll fuck you up hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, Multiple different vision modes too. Yep, IR, NVG, and uh, day. Uh, moving on to the AR2 darter. This thing has a maximum service ceiling of about. 1200, uh, 1200 meters. Um, it can zoom in to um, 12 times or 8 times. Uh, it's pretty damn silent, and it's it's absolutely a gorgeous little robot. Uh, this thing can... Uh, it has NVG, AR... I'm sorry. NVG, IR, and uh, day vision modes. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any weaponry. But um, it's man portable by one guy, one drone operator, um, usable by one drone operator, and uh, it's it's pretty fucking quiet. It's an absolutely wonderful little machine. Moving on to the Yabaron. Uh, way over down past the uh, UCAV. Yep, right where Graham is standing. Now, this looks fucking ugly, and I wish that we had the Predator in here, but this is what we've got. Um, so it's flyable by one man. It has the uh, ability to carry uh, two Hellfires, uh, six Vickers, or two laser-guided bombs. Um, it has a service ceiling of, of uh, 8,000 feet and a infrared uh, daytime and night vision with camera. Uh, it's pretty silent, especially over a thousand meters, um, but it's much bigger, and it's designed to carry a payload. Uh, so it's it's very much a predator. This is what you want to carry, or what you want to bring in if you want something dead, you want it dead uh, now. This looks like the one that you see all the time being used to drop bombs on uh, bad guys. What is the difference yeah. between the predator and this one? Uh, this one is based in sci-fi. So it's slightly faster, it has a much better climb rate, um, and its engine is much quieter than the Predator. The Predator is also much bigger. Yeah, the Predator is uh, as big. Oh, okay. But you also, with this one, if you're doing some like, laser-guided bombing, you need two of them. One to laser and then the other to bomb. No, so uh, no, no, no. The, uh, the camera... The, uh, so the pilot controls, or the, the, the driver's station controls all of the movement, the gunner station controls the camera and the weapons. It's so just you like can... a Tomcat. Pilot flies, yeah. rear shoots. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to get into um, into how drones work a little bit later on. Um, do you have any other questions about the Yabaron specifically? Nope. It, no. They carry big boom from oh, yeah. very high up. Uh, I got something else to carry a big boom. Check behind you. This is the UCAV Sentinel, the unmanned combat area vehicle designated Sentinel. This is a carrier, uh, cattle bar, uh, cattle bar capable unmanned aircraft. It can carry... Yeah, they're planning on turning these into aerial refuelers, too. Oh, yeah. Um, so it can carry two AGM-65 Mavericks, one GBU-12, a cluster bomb, uh, a harm, 
a small diameter, four, sorry, four small diameter bombs, and then a laser guided maverick. Um, and that's on each pylon. They can carry a single type of those. Uh, it's got two internal pylons. This is designed for stealth. Totally, <laughs> totally not real. Um, it's not deployed yet, but this thing can go uh, Mach 1.8. And they do exist. Well, they do They're exist. They're just not in service. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, so yeah, you can sit this up on a on a carrier deck and uh, launch it off. It's got a camera that can zoom up to 20 times. Um, it can go Mach 1.8. It is really deadly, really quick. Um, I'm not a fan of it because it's so goddamn fast. But uh, you guys are more than welcome to use it. 1.8? Because it's stealth. Oh. <laughs> they seem to hate stealth for some reason. Well, no, because stealth doesn't fucking win. You don't automatically win if you have stealth. It's not a fucking... It's not oh, it's a fucking a god card from Yu-Gi-Oh. Of course not. It's a tool you use just as another weapon. That's exactly what it is. But it's leverage is what it is. Oh, yeah. Of course. Uh, Dude, what about... if you If you have good stealth, you're reducing the enemy's ability to detect you. And... The, the later they detect you, the later they lock you up, and the less chance they have to react. It's an amazing tool, but it's not a trump card. It's not. It doesn't mean you automatically win. No, but I mean, imagine if you use your live uh, fighters that are typically going to receive a radar signature. Let's say, like, uh, for instance, like with the Navy, you'd be flying Super Hornets, right? Yeah. So they'd be flying Super Hornets at uh, targets. The, super, the targets can see the Super Hornets on radar. But meanwhile, F-35s are flanking to the sides with their AESA being stealthy and coming to flank the shit out of them not being seen. Oh, yeah. There's no, a role that's, for that's both. Exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it's a great tool. Sometimes you want the enemy knowing where you are, and other times you don't. Yep. Yeah, distractions work, man. Distractions definitely work. What about the helicopter drone? Oh, I got oh I'm so name. sorry. I forgot the MGQ, uh, MQ-12. Yeah. A very fun one. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes. Now, this is the MQ-12. Oh. It is a uh, helicopter drone. Um, as Harrison said, it's got four weapon pylons. It's considered a combat drone. Um... This is... It's pretty fucking adorable, to be honest, fam. Hey, baby. Um, it looks like the Comanche. So cute. Yeah, it's like, it's, like an, it's like a chibi version of a Comanche. Hey, what happened? What do you mean? Um, it can carry six Vickers, two Hellfires, along with uh, the outer pylons with... Uh, I thought you left for your thing already. Um, the camera in it can go up to 12 times, IR, and VG, standard okay. avionics package. It's considered stealth, but it doesn't super duper work because of the blades and the, the tail rotor and everything. Um, Is this the one where after you fire the missiles, you can still control them yeah. with the camera? Yeah, yeah, the Vickers are laser guided. Gotcha. Uh, not too sure what else to say about this thing. Any questions? What's it ceiling? Okay. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't take it over a thousand meters. Thank you. Love you. Any other questions? Mm. Mm, no. Awesome. So all of these are tools that you can use to laser designate targets <laughs> and like find out the grid references. Oh, but I got a ton of stuff in the cool. Nice. What'd you get? <laughs> Do you remember like stuff for <laughs> stuff for all your costumes and whatnot? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I found a little Italian baby suitcase with a little one. See me more than half ago. What uh, what ISIS are doing nice. is they're putting yeah. forty mil grenades yeah, underneath power of drones and flying oh, them over infantry. <laughs> yes. Our video. Oh, my what have we done? We, they nice. saw our fucking like video. God damn it, ISIS. ISIS. Some of my yeah. viewers are terrorists. Mm. Fuck! I got a cute little belly dancing bra that might That's probably the best training they can like guess, considering. Shit, man, they probably yeah. are playing nice. Arma over there. Just watching YouTube videos. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna start doing uh, missions exclusively in uh, wintertime, so they can't fucking use it as training. I don't need tan lines. 
Uh, alright. <laughs> we have an excuse to wear the white uniforms in VSM. The sun is very white, like them. I would look forward to a winter campaign. Nice. That would be fun. A Christmas special invade the North Pole. Texas? Well, we actually we did a Christmas special really before. Good. We should do a winter campaign in winter. We, we did a Christmas special before the moon, um, right? where we rescued Santa from um uh, oh god okay. no we we rescued Santa the dance, from the um from ISIS we rescued <laughs> Santa from ISIS. listen 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 yeah, we rescued you. Santa from ISIS wow. by invading Iraq and selling shit <laughs> hmm. covered in snow wearing all okay. black with reindeer so this is like one of the last days or something like that she's gonna do some vengeance yeah, I mean I gave her Oh, fuck. All right. Uh, y'all, want to see a um, demonstration? Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. I spent like. Cool. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me cue it up. My. Uh, there we go. Gotta put on <laughs> act on instinct on. Cool. Very cool. Do I? Oh, you. May have a oh, under under initiated. Act on instinct is probably the flagship song of Command and Conquer. Oh. It sounds like she just decided this. <laughs> The disappointment in your voice was okay. wonderful. <laughs> She's like been promised a job. I play Civ. Yeah. Too fucking. Um, a Wait, a spa, are, are like we the targets? Oh fuck! This is a demonstration. Okay, this is where I'm gonna go behind a rock and prone. You are pure evil. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna set them up to the south, and uh, the uh, target's gonna be. Nice. Totally obscured from view. Um, so head on over. I'm good right now, but I'm. Okay, no, it's up to the north, like, past this bush between the rocks. So Gabriel was gonna stop by and drop off that necklace, and I said, well, it's sort of back and forth, and he's like, yeah, just like that. Well, I'm at this house, okay, you see that little minaret there? Said, oh yes, yeah. I don't know yeah. Where you are. And, he said he us. and then, yep, right there. Here, let me get rid of this bush real quick. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Like, oh. uh, try He's gone. If I just like left my house at like ten o'clock at night, you okay? He said, "Yeah, kind of." So, assuming Brittany doesn't know about the necklace, he's like, "No, no the minaret, the tower thing." He knows about it, but like I'm not gonna leave at ten o'clock. All night. right, and then uh, there's gonna be a couple of things going on about to about the south just yeah, before so that bend there. Um, take around. a look over there if you like. Sure. Right, and he's like, Yeah, I might have a job to do in Anderson, mm. so I might not even. Mm -hmm. Went to a garage sale in Anderson, and then went back from Anderson. Stuff on the I don't see anything. So. What am I looking at? I think he's setting up the launches to the south. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. I gotta figure out what. Okay. Well, I'm just. We're just doing a little training and. It. Um. Up till 10:40. So. Well, I'm just doing a little training, and then we'll uh, be done shortly. In about two hours. I'll go back to bed uh, for a little bit, and get up, do homework, or whatever. Hey, uh, just whenever I wake oh, up. Oh, it's over to west. Huh? Okay, that works. Hmm. Of course you will. Hey, incoming. Everybody spread. Anybody still yeah. alive? You can immediately start advancing on it. 
<laughs> oh, by the way, no more village. Uh, what's another thing that you guys wanted to see? Oh, do you want to see our um, actual artillery gun fire? Yeah, what's the um, biggest rocket that we have? Is it the M124? Um, no, it's the HIMARS. I'm going to fire. Yeah, the M M142. I'm going to put down 10 of those and fire them, okay? All right. Where are you putting them down at, Wolfel? Uh, off to the west. Yeah, off to the west. Oh, hi, Mars. Ooh, very nice. Hello, Venus. Oh, off they go. Uh oh. Now you can see how absolutely massive those rockets are, right? Yeah. Like, you can see the other ones. Yeah. You can see these. Yeah. Now, oh, check see. this shit out. Oh, oh yeah, cluster. they cluster. Oh, shit. Goodbye, town. That's basically, uh, what town? Yeah. <laughs> what weird reference? A bullet may have your name on it. A grenade may be addressed to who it may... Uh, a great is a, a grenade is addressed to who it may concern. This shit is near grid square. <laughs> Good that is beautiful. beautiful. Good you see that grid square? Yes, sir. I don't want to. <laughs> Some babies. Yes, sir. You see that army? 50 bucks, mister. Let me say. Huh? 50 bucks, I don't want mister. To. I'm not hungry. They'll be gone by the time we come back in. <laughs> uh, and then you wanted to see artillery. Did someone I say uh, Russian one maybe? The fast I woke up Is there what? Anything left to shoot? I spilled everything last night, and I woke up. So D thirty or uh, one uh, one one nine. Hey, Wolf, we'll aim for that microwave tower down the end. Hmm. Shall we do the Russian one? Didn't end. Didn't end so well. Oh, well I'll need yeah, a grid reference. Good. Alright, looking at it. Hang on. Okay, the grid would be... 053058. Hi, baby. 053058. What was? Yeah. Hey, firm. You spilled everything? Uh, okay. Did you spill Microwave tower? How many rounds? Surprises. How many rounds? Let's keypad eight as well. What did you spill? Go five rounds. Are you talking in total or each gun? E each gun. Oh, I want to see anything standing on that target. You really don't like that tower. <laughs> that sucks. I'm sorry. Five Sitting rounds. At me. Gun. Okay. Has, yeah. Does anyone play Rainbow Six Siege? Hmm? Shut up. Okay. Gun one. There we go. Hi. So, yeah, 30 seconds. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> I know you did your ass down. <laughs> and the doop. <laughs> As the bird flies by. Hi. <laughs> I wish they would have a garage. Maybe. Ah! Yeah. Baby, stop. What did I do? Ow! <laughs> Ow! I didn't get to bite you all morning. This is freaking up without me. <laughs> Those are please turn your designator off. Sorry, I didn't mean oh. to click. By the way, <laughs> these guns actually do have laser Wait. Wait a second. Did you ever find. Um, you ever find that recording of you saying it's time to release? It was fairly indiscriminate. Not what I said exactly. Board, there was cool. some other stuff to yeah, it, too. Yeah, no, unfortunately, artillery guns are not yeah, I ran the in here most and accurate thing in the world. I think I could hit that from here with my little motor. Why, uh, why doesn't somebody mm -hmm. go ahead and, uh, call for a relationship? I didn't know you were cheating on me with them and telling them it's time to release. 
It's not what I said, oh, baby. Well, <laughs> Gross, it wasn't just what I said. I just saw the, heard the release part and I read it and I was like, what in the hell? And you're like, what those I do? What I do? And, I'm like, and uh, I do dreams, dogs don't, like that. those are does. There's strange men online that are married. And fugly. Another thing, you can it's on. have different members yeah, of your fun. team to designate it for you. <laughs> it was you, you don't have to designate. <laughs> It'll latch onto any designator in the area. From the air, the ground, even the yeah. sea. I see that. I see it. My <laughs> beat. I see that, baby. Thank you. Are you trying to hit the uh, town over there? It's 1,221 meters. Surprise aircraft carrier. <laughs> no, quick action, quick action, quick action. That's how they all do it. <laughs> okay. Well, Waffle, how do you do the, uh, Harrison, the specialty? Why? Why? I don't he know just fell happens. down the rock. To press free, and my mortar flew over here and hit me in the head. It hit me in the head on the way. That is excellent. Hey, Wolfle, how do you do the specialty click thing again? To what? The th click on the map and it shows up on. Uh... Oh, shift. Shift. Hold shift and click on where you want. I have to grab a quick heal. Oh. Okay, mortars to the face do hurt. Ah, thank you. Hang on, sorry. Oh no, you're fine. There's a shell on the ground beside of me. Yeah, that's what I was aiming for. So, what are you gonna be called as, Wuffle, for uh, indirect fire support? Ah, uh, go ahead and call me Fenrir. Ooh, yay! Fenrir, copy. Evil demonic bastard. Actually, hold on. Wasn't Fenrir like a super rapist? He was a wolf, but he was like a massive rapist as well. Well, it's a beast, so take without asking. Yeah. So go ahead. Go ahead and call it. I have a target designation for you. What type of equipment are you using? No. What type of equipment are you using? Uh, grid reference zero five five eight zero five eight and zero five eight two. Zero five five eight zero five eight two. Okay, so the way you call a fire mission is you say your call sign, the artillery call sign, and then fire mission. Uh, copy that. Delta Zulu 75. Yeah, just a little bit. Delta Zulu 75 Fenry. Fire mission 0558 0582. Fenrir, reading you, Delta 507. Okay, so, so you would. Your call sign. Delta call Zulu sign. 75. Okay, so your call sign, Delta Zulu 75. My call sign is Fenrir, so you say Delta Zulu 75 to Fenrir fire mission. I would respond, copy fire mission, go ahead, when I was ready. Um, you would then say the grid reference, the amount of shells from each gun, 
um, or the amount of shells in total, one or the other, do not do both, uh, then you would say either fire when ready, at my command, or fire for effect. Uh, copy that. I did forget my JTAG lesson, that's why we needed more. No, that's fine, dude. That's why we're doing this. Uh, Delta Zulu 75, defend your fire mission. Femrear, DZ75, fire mission, ready to copy. Grid reference 0558059. It's Is there another number to that? It's uh, just a eight liner. You gave me seven numbers. I said zero five five eight zero five eight nine. Copy. You said zero five nine. Not gonna argue. Zero five eight. Uh, zero five five eight zero five eight nine. Hey, firm. Uh, fire for effect, 15 rounds. Copy that. Delta Zulu 75. Grid reference 0558 Niner. Uh, 15 rounds total. Fire for effect. Copy? Copy. Confirmed. Copy that. Laying guns. We'll call fire. Gabriel, one of the ones you like? Which one was Gabriel? The one that talked to you when we first started dating and told you to spank me. Extra times. Just in case I don't know. Um, he works for AT&T. He doesn't pay. Guns laid, firing. He's married. Say goodbye to Casador. Or Casador. Mary Dusty's sister and has two kids. Hmm? Mary Dusty's sister. Hmm. Okay. He's one of the ones that knows about horse stuff and like, I'm sure he knows like, about station. Shot. Time. 30 seconds. Shot over. Ready screen caps. Call shot out. Yeah, that's fine. Where, where is that going? It's heading for the radio tower, is it? No, it's heading for Casador. That's 1.2 kilometers to the northwest. Hey, there it goes. Flash. <laughs> Another thing you're gonna notice is, what I was supposed do to? you see how much more accurate that the uh, American version of artillery is? Hmm. It's because it has a rifled barrel. Yeah, they won't wobble in the air very well. Yep. And yes, it was supposed to go over there. That's where I was pointing. That's where I'm looking at right now. Excellent. Fenrir battery. Ready to copy new fire mission. Anybody else? No, I'm, I'm good. No. Waffle, well, would you mind if I had a crack at using me little M6 mortar? Uh, kind of, but I guess go ahead. Right, no yeah, no, you know what? No, go ahead, dude. It hit me in the face again. I think that you should be banned from using mortars. Yeah, Harrison, go ahead. I, I just need to find it. It went... I lost it somewhere. I have a piece I found of it, it over here.
Maybe don't set it up on the rock. Muffled, if you hit these uh, canisters that I see in the middle of the town, would it actually blow up? I don't think so. Damn. That would be a big boom. Wait, what canisters? My lasers are on them right now. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Uh, no, they would they would get destroyed, but I don't think they would blow up. Aww. Man. I want to see those go off and then destroy the building next to it. <laughs> well, I mean, you can put a laser-guided shell into the building. Oh, that's true, that's true. Uh, Delta Zulu 7-5 Defender got a fire mission for you. Delta Zulu 7-5, this is Fenrir, ready to copy mission. Sorry. Uh, grid reference is going to be 055-058, and laser designated shells, please. Um, three of them. Uh, copy, how do you want that served? Does anybody understand what served means? You have, you have to tell me whether it's at your command or just when I'm ready. Oh, release whenever. Got me, fire for effect. Read back. Zero, five, five, zero, five, eight. Laser designated. Three rounds. Fire for effect. Roger, release. Guns laying now. We don't actually have laser designator in our, laser designated in our inventory. Oh darn! We'll, we'll call back in a second. Hang on. He's switching guns. Okay, uh, Fenrir 2-2 is going to take over this mission. Uh, their platoon, M109A6, direct south, they'll take over. Copy, Fenrir 2-2, did you copy the last fire mission? Fenrir 2-2 copies all. Read back 055058, laser designated, three rounds, fire for effect, at command. Uh, correction, at discretion. Affirm, release one round. Okay. Stopping it here. You can't tell me to fire for effect and then tell me to release one round. It has to be one or the other. At your command means you have full authority over the gun battery. Fire for effect means I'm going to fire whenever the hell I want. Copy, I guess I misunderstood you when you were reading it back, sorry. Okay. 055058, let's take it in. Three rounds total, fire for effect. Fire for effect means shoot at the target that I've designated right now. At my command means fire these rounds that I have set for you at my command. If you want to make a spotting round, you have to say... One round, three on standby. Copy. Uh, so you, let's just... You can, tell me, you can tell me how many rounds to use at one time. And you can say, set a certain number of rounds aside for me. And then you can, then you can use out of those rounds. Yeah, okie dokie. Um... Three rounds, just whenever you want, uh, fire for effect. Copy, three rounds, fire for effect, 055058, laser designated, on the way. So what's the difference between laser designated and the other types, Wuffle? Other than the... And shot, time on target is 40 seconds. I'm sorry, what was your question? What's the difference between the laser designated and the regular, the other kind, 
other than the laser, of course, is there like a, is this um, more direct? And so it's um, less boom or what? Uh, no, it's, it's roughly the same. Um, it's just that it's laser guided. Oh, and uh, real quick, I'm going to show you exactly where they're firing from. And uh, this is, remember, this is 40 seconds. So we're going to wait until uh, the rounds actually hit. to have your laser on the whole time. Well, not the whole time, but in the last, like, 15, 30 seconds, 15 to 20 seconds of flight. Oh, I thought they hit already because I saw something go boom. No, no, that was just Harrison. Uh, yeah, copy that. Strange. There you go. That's three rounds. That building should be gone. Yeah, they're a little they're a little less powerful than just straight AG, but they're designed to hit and then fragment out rather than heave earth up. Oh, so it's very very pointed where you put them. Got it. Yeah, it's it's designed to be like a low impact munition. Yeah, no, so I'm sorry. When, when you said power, I thought you meant, like, range. Jesus Christ, Harrison. Okay. Where did Harrison go? Just down the hill a bit. Dozer, you uh, want to try again? Sure. Uh, let's do this again. Oh. Also, could you put a guy on that roof? Sure. Okay, so I'm going to change it up a little bit. You've got Fenrir. One, one, uh, which is going to be a section of mortars, and they're going to be to your east of the valley. Then you have Fenrir one, two, which is your artillery battery to the east of you, and then Fenrir one, three, which is your uh, guns down south. Oh yeah, I hit the fucking tank. So Fenrir 1-3 is artillery as well? Or no, that's a... Fen Fenrir 1-2 and 1-3 are artillery, 1-1 one, one is mortar. Let me just real quick make sure that I actually can hit shit with a mortar. Fenrir 1-2, this is Delta Zulu 7-5, how copy? Fenrir 1-2, Delta Zulu 7-5, copy. I have a fire mission for you, grid reference 0537058. I need another number. Yeah, I'm trying to figure that one out. Um, I don't know. It's confusing as shit. Uh, zero five eight seven zero or zero five three seven zero five eight. Uh, shit three.
the hell? It's uh that stupid tower. Well, for what would that be? Would... I'm just destroying windows. Oh, uh, what tower? tower? Uh, the tower that's uh, in Casador in the back left-hand corner. I believe it would be zero five three five zero five eight eight. What else? Yeah. So what you've got to do is separate the grid reference between zero five three and zero five four into ten smaller slices vertically. So think of it as. Um, a slice of cake. And you've got ten more slices in between. All you want to do is count up the number of slices to zero, five, four, and that's your fourth number. So that would be, and it's the exact same thing between zero, five, eight, and zero, five, nine. Um, it's just a grid. So I would do it as zero, five, three, five, zero, five, eight, uh, seven. Okay, so you just do it as uh, lines across it, not like uh, actual squares. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it is squares, but you need to count it as lines one way and then lines another way, and that's your, that's your square. Yeah, I was getting confused on the, uh, the 058 portion. I was like, where the hell do you start? It's like, I can barely see a line for... Yeah, no, that's fine. All you need to do is count up, get, do like 10 meter sections up from 0 0.58 to 0 0.59. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, when you get to 10, that's 100 meters. So from the bottom of the grid square up to that is roughly 70 meters. And so I said 7. Yeah, okay, so it's 0 0.538 for for the eighth square because I'm doing it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that for uh left to right, and then mm -hmm. zero five eight eight. Mm-hmm. I zero five here's the thing. I will put down a grid I will put down a dot where you told me it is. So go ahead and tell me the grid. Zero five three eight zero five eight eight. That's just about there. Okay, it's about ten meters off or twenty meters to the left. Mm -hmm. So twenty meters would put you just about there, which honestly is good enough. Uh, okay. You yeah, that's the thing. God damn it! I am trying to hit the con little, like, gas barrel, but it's not that easy. I swear to God. It's not that hard. I know, with, uh... What? I'm just shooting out glass windows. Uh, alright, yeah, so what you gotta do is, is I would paint that as six or five, really within 20 meters of the area is good enough um, because it's just such a big round. Oh, okay, copy that. Yeah. 0538058 uh, Five rounds total from each gun. Uh, set aside 15, uh, five rounds for each gun. Uh, give me one spotting round, please. How would you like that, sir? At my release. Copy. Grid zero five three seven zero five eight six. Five rounds from each gun, one spotting, fifteen reserve at your discretion. Roger that. Give me my spotting round whenever you can. Copy. Femur 1 2 spotting round. Guns laying now. Let's do 
you guys really need to be doing right now. Is the what was that? Rounds away. Time on target is 30 seconds. Shoot through the windows. Oh, I saw a bullet like impact right beside us. That was uh, me shooting into the ground. Ah, okay. You figured out the windage and all that? That's cool. It's like there is no wind. dot right on the windage. Guns prep round set and stowed. That building there is about can't see my impact anymore. Bring your range card. Oh no, I haven't slated in. I, it just doesn't show up anymore. Did the uh, spotting round get fired, Wuffle? I'm just trying glass windows. I am not sure. I'm gonna fire one though. Yeah, one round away. There you go. 30 seconds. Fenrir 1, 2, good hits. Release all 15 rounds whenever possible. Fire for effect. Copy, fire for effect. 15 rounds, 3 guns, 5 each. On the way. Guns firing. Time on target is 30 seconds. I think the gun changed ammo. Stand by splash. Right where I wanted them, I wanted that those uh, tents taken out. Nice. And they would not be alive. Oh yeah, nobody in that. Even if really and truly in the buildings, they'd be all dead. Oh, they had tents actually fall down. That's awesome. Yeah. I didn't even know they fell down really, because they were still standing over here on the uh, that side right there after the first couple ones. That's cool. And y'all, what guys wanted to do on the building? You guys have your guy on the building if you want to take him out. Yeah, you hit him. Yeah, you killed him. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. So, Dozer? Yes. You feel confident now? Uh, yeah. I just need a little bit more training or to do this more regularly uh, to keep it fresh and in my mind. Sure. <coughs> in the village of Sarak, there's a circle there. I want you to hit with artillery. You have 30 seconds. Ten seconds gone. Check them up. Dozer. Fenrir, 1-3, quick action, quick action, 0618-0579. 0618-0579, quick action, how many rounds? 
Five rounds. Set one for spotting round. Release on uh, the release of spotting round. Copy. One spotting round. Three rounds. Zero. One. Correction. Zero six one eight zero five seven niner. Roger. Copy. One round spotter. Out of character. I've been uh, drafted for a uh, pizza run. I'll be back in about 15. Okay. Yep, 40 seconds out. Seems I might have been a square off. Was that That's what the... the a firm. That's why I put it as a uh, spotting round. And you wanted five rounds each gun? Hey, firm. I don't like this town. I want it destroyed. Yeah. I want it leveled, like gone, back to pottery. Yeah. So, uh, Femur One Three was the uh, one hundred ninth way down south. Okay. And they have a uh, forty second flight time. That's not bad. Fenrir One One. Out to the east, the mortars have a 28 second flight time. And 1 2 would have the same, right? Uh, no, 1 2 would have about a 31 second flight time. And uh, 1 2 and 1 3 are both 109s? Oh uh, no, one two is uh one one nines, one three is one oh nines. And the difference between those two was Um the one one nine is a hundred and five millimeter gun and the one oh nine is a one hundred and fifty five millimeter gun. Hey, I did pick the right one. I want this town gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, like, here's the thing, if you, if you, you need to balance your amount of damage that you do with how quickly you want the rounds. You can, I can have the mortars on there in 30 seconds, um, and it's great for getting people down. Like, here's the thing, with, with, you can call multiple missions at the same time. Okay. Would they, they would be on, like, different frequencies, though, right? No, Fenrir shares the same frequency with you guys. No, I meant in, like in real life, they would have different frequencies. Oh, and yeah. oh yeah, no, in real life it would be like a, a twenty-five, um, a twenty-five degree frequency difference. So n no chance possible of getting the wrong one. Yeah. Uh, that spotting round. It should be on its way in like three seconds. Oh shit, there it is. Yep, I see it. Damn. That's pretty damn close. And now five from each gun, right? Fire uh one per each gun, leave four in the on the ground. Alright. Fenrir 1-1, one, one, Delta Zulu 7-5, fire mission for you. Same grid square, five rounds. Delta Zulu 7-5 to Fenrir 1-3, fire missions, same grid square, one round each gun, leave four on the floor. Fenrir 1-2. Round away. Time of flight, 41 seconds. Fenrir 1-2. Move grid square to the right by 1. So it's going to be 0-6-1-9-er. 0 5 7 9 Give me... Three rounds, one spotter. Fire for effect on the spotter round. Hey, baby. Copy that. Ooh. Zero, six, one, niner, zero, five, seven, niner. Mm -hmm. Three rounds total, one round spotter. He is very, very pretty. 
Very nice. And that's a spot around away. Time on target thirty seconds. It's a neck. It's a oh okay. Were those the uh, 155 or the 105? Fenrir 13, mission complete, standing down. Fenrir 12, spotting round, hit. Copy 12, bring your range in to the right by 20 meters. Gun or three rounds total? Three rounds each gun. Copy. Specify, please. Fire for effect. Three rounds each gun. Three rounds each gun. Fire for effect. Outbound. Time on target 30 seconds. We'll call shot. Gun rear 1 1. Uh, fire mission. Femur 1 1. Fish fire mission ready. Grid, squ grid square zero six zero one zero five seven one. Go ahead. Five rounds. Five rounds. One spotter. Fire for effect on the spotter round. Five rounds per gun. A firm five five rounds per gun, one spot around. Copy. Is that fire for effect or command? Uh, spot around is fire for effect. Uh, wait for command on the five rounds. Copy. Grid zero six zero one zero five seven one. A firm, good read back. Fire for, fire for the uh, spot around. Copy. Five rounds each gun. One round spotter for uh, firing for effect now. Enrier one two Delta Zulu seven five. Fire mission zero six one niner. Zero five seven niner five rounds fire for effect. Uh Femur one two Delta Zulu zero six one niner zero five seven niner fire for effect. Uh repeat, repeat mission. Fire mission. Uh fire for effect zero six one niner zero five seven niner. Yeah, Dozer, you can just say repeat mission. Uh, copy, repeat mission then. Copy. 0619 or 0579 or three rounds each gun. Fire for effect. Zero five, uh, one, Fenrir 1 1 should be hitting by now, right? Rounds away. Yep, Fenrir 1 1 has already hit. I totally missed it. Uh, Fenrir one one, spot one spot around, please. Same grid. Copy. Repeat mission. One grid. Uh, correction. One round spotter. Uh, round away on previous coordinate. Time on target twenty seconds. Fenrir one two splash. I'm calling that a 
grid square off, one, one I hit. think. Femur 1-1, one, one, Delta 5-7. One round hit. Catch it. I think it hit during uh, Fender 1-2's. Uh, Fender 1-2 seems to be off by one grid square. Uh, how do you tell them to relocate again? Uh, Fenrir 1-2, this is Delta Zulu 5-7. Request adjust range, and then you adjust it up, down, left or right. Um, or north, south, east, west magnetic, and then the amount of meters. You can never do it north... Like, you can never do secondary directions. You must do cardinal directions, a number, and then another cardinal directions, and then another number. Delta Zulu 75 Fenrir 12 request realignment on your guns. Move to the northeast. Seven five no, meters. No, 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 not doing that. Copy. Um, say again, how? No, you always do a cardinal direction, a number, and then another cardinal direction, and then a number. I will never move an artillery gun based on a secondary direction. So if I say uh, five, uh, five, five zero degrees, about nope. one. No, 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 no. Nope. You must give 0, 90, 180, 270, north, south, east, west, up, down, left, or right. 0, 9, zero for 20 meters, and 0 meters for, uh, 0 degrees for 10 meters. Like that? Exactly that. That place is pretty much pummeled that I was going for down there, so... Fenrir 1-1, one, one, you still have rounds left on the ground, correct? Fenrir 1-1, one, one, Mortar Battalion, we do. Copy... Do you copy the fire mission for Fenrir 1-2? Got a fire mission zero six one zero five eight. Yep, stand by. Sorry, standing by. Okay, I've marked the positions for Fenrir on your map. Uh, I can't see them for some reason. Whoa. Yeah, and you're getting 30 second flight times. No wonder why I can't see it. It's way the hell off. <laughs> yep. Okay, I was okay. doing zero six zero zero five seven, right? Zero six. No, I don't have that. I could have sworn I was saying zero six zero uh, one zero five seven one. Yeah, zero six zero one zero five seven one. Five gun, five rounds per gun, one spotter, five four effect. I've got a dash now, guys. But brilliant training. I'll see you all Tuesday. Um, sure. Hey. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you want to go ahead and fire some rounds real quick, Harrison? I am out of ammunition. Um, no, no, I meant over the radio. Sure, yeah, I'll give it a quick go. Cool. Which How did that get to 079? I just want everybody to get, it, get the chance to, uh, to try this out, see if it's for them. Alright, uh... 
Um, Fen Fenrir one one still has rounds, yeah. Uh, yeah, all the guns. Just consider them always stocked all the time. All right. I'll give this a go. Um, so it's the Fenrir one one, and then my call sign, correct? No, your call. Your right, call sign. Them. It it it's your you. Think of it as. I am speaking to you, so my call gotcha. sign, hello, your call sign. Hello, you, yeah, alright. Witchcraft 1-1, one, one, Fenrir 1-1. One, one. Uh, Witchcraft 1-1, one, one, Fenrir 1-1, one, one, go ahead. Witchcraft 1-1, one, one, Fenrir 1-1, one, one, fire mission. Fire mission, go ahead. Uh, we're calling it 0 5 zero, two, zero, Five, four, five. Five rounds. Uh, five rounds per tube. Fire one spotting round on my command. Is that correct? Fenware one one to Witchcraft one one. Fire mission grid zero five zero two zero five four five. Five rounds per gun. Ten guns. One spotting at command. Copy. Yep. Yeah. Correct. Fire spotter. Copy that. Laying guns. Oh, laying guns means getting them on target, does it? Yeah. yeah sure. All right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Guns laid, one round. Yep, fire spot around. Harrison, you're doing zero five zero you zero four that. five, right? Yes, yeah. One spot. It's off to our southwest and uh, northwest, yeah. Uh from where we're at, we're southwest. Copy thirty seconds. It's uh, that little uh, depot on top of the hill, northwest. I like the building under construction. There. Uh, did I mark it correct? Splash. Yes. I could not see that splash, could you? Uh, that's because you're telling him to go to the southwest. Sorry, back quick guys. Zero five zero two zero five four five. Uh, I may have just miss the splash. Yeah, yeah, I just missed <coughs> the splash. It is the <coughs> yes, yeah, uh, I just couldn't see the splash then. Sorry. Uh, yeah, five for effect. Five rounds. Copy. Ten guns. Five rounds. Fire for effect. Copy. That's a lot of rounds. I do not like your car garages, you know. Hey, <laughs> You said zero five zero zero five four. Seven seconds. Round the way. Uh, zero five zero two zero five four five. Okay. Copy. <laughs> Good hits. It's gone. Like concrete flying. It is gone. Gotta love the destruction in this game. Alright, 
Fantastic. I will see you guys next time. Okay, have a lovely evening. You guys too. See you Tuesday. See you later, Harrison. Uh, yeah, good night, Harrison. Okay, Graham? User left your channel. Oh, I have the nine lines thing open on. I can't click on it now. Oh, uh, control, shift, and P. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, what's your call sign? Uh, hang on. You can just do mech. Yeah, really, I like call signs to be like one or two syllables, easy to remember, simple. So instead like of Delta, Z instead of Delta Zulu, you just want Delta Seven Five. Yeah, I mean, if you can simplify it even more, that'd be awesome. I mean, Delta Zulu Seven Five is good. Sounds very military. Um, yeah. I mean, m my call sign when I was JTAC was Wolfpack One. Um, very simple, uh, term used most, almost every day. Um, everybody knows what it is, you know. Just saying. What is the uh, nine liners uh, key combo? For, uh, Control until... shift and then uh, Charlie Victor Bravo November and I think X ray. I don't know if I have this filled out properly. That's fine. Just do your best. Uh, uh. You ready for the ad call sign? Go. Fenrir 1 2, Lucky Charms 1 1. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky Charms, that's awesome. Uh, fire mission. What's your call sign? Lucky Charms 1 1. <laughs> Charms 1 1, Femur 1 2, ready for fire mission. Grid 0 5 5, 0 5 8, keypad 5, target description buildings. Uh, uh, press high explosive, um, press time on time of flight, uh, fire for effect. You haven't given oh, me um, any round uh, count, whatever you need. Uh, I'm just after realizing. Uh, units to fire five, number of rounds five. I think he has a uh, ten in that mortar squadron. Uh, nope. He can request the amount of guns to fire. Uh, and then True. is it at your command or at uh, my discretion or whenever you want? Uh, fire for effect. That's Lucky not what you charms. want to use, isn't it? Fenrir 1 2 to Lucky Charms 1 1, fire mission, grid 0 5 5 0 5 8, keep at 5, just buildings. HE, request time of flight. Um. Zero five five, right? And zero five five zero five base keypad five. Mm, 
and check your map. Sorry, my microphone was muted. Okay, and I also missed the last line of your... What you were just saying right now. What was the... the HE, time of flight, and then... What else? Uh, it was units to fire five, number of rounds five. And fire for effect. Alright. Family 1 2, Lucky Charms 1 1, Fire Mission, Grid 0 5 5 0 5 8, Keypad 5, Buildings, HE, Time of Flight, um, 5 out of 5 guns, Fire 4 Effect, over. That's right, hey, Copy, guns laying. Gun set. Firing for effect now. I told the keypads go left and up. Uh, keypad. Uh, keypad goes just like your normal Round keypad on your hat and your uh, on your phone. You might want to readjust to the uh, two seven zero for about twenty meters. That was wrong, good square. Uh, no, it was the right one. You were hitting pretty damn close. You might want to just readjust to your uh, 270 for about 20 meters. No, that's... Um, hang on. Are you going okay, for the, zero. uh... No, that was grid 058055. I said 055058. 055058? Lucky Charms, 1-1. One, one. Uh, mission complete. Do you require more assistance? <laughs> I'm more confused at the moment, actually. Work it out and let me know. Zero five eight. Uh, zero five five. Zero the, five the eight. Square is wrong. Uh, is always, always top first and then down the side. Top bottom. So zero five five, right in the middle. Yeah, zero I, five eight. Zero five five. Zero five eight. Had went, five. Th those rounds went in zero five eight. Zero five five. five. Uh, Waffle sometimes reads them backwards. It's, uh, gotta make sure that he's reading them back to you correctly, too. Yep. No, that's, that's what you gave me. Go on, uh, bottom first and then go along the sides, correct, Waffle? Yeah. 
Uh, should be Hill 1456. I always like to think of it as the top comes off and you work your way down. Then your one two Delta Zulu seven five fire mission zero five eight zero five five. That's gonna land in the exact same place. Hey Harrison, or uh, sorry, Graham. You wanna give it another go? Uh, yeah, cool. Say again? What'd you say? Uh, he's cutting out. Oh, he's, he called, didn't you? Go ahead. Call it out. Okay. See, there, now They're waiting for you to call it a shot. Oh. Uh, okay. You're trying to hit Casadar, right? Yeah, I'm radio set. He called me by name rather than call sign. Yeah, he called you by name. Zero five five zero five eight. It'd be the middle of Casador if I'm not mistaken, right? Zero five five zero five So your rounds landed at that right there for some reason. You want to call any out, Whistler? Um, give me a sec. I'll be off comms for five minutes. Roger. It's really a meeting. Oh, I can't connect to any of the UAVs. Damn it. Why the fuck is Fenrir way the fuck down there? How the hell did he even get that? Zero five nine zero zero two?
Uh, hey, Graham. Copy. Hey, Graham, copy you there. Yeah. You work out your uh, issues, or do you need help? As well, because they, I called out the group square I wanted, but they were inverted on arrival. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to waffle to flop them. I think he read them from the side to the bottom. East West uh, reading. What is that? Latitude? Is that how it goes? Well, Whistler is latitude is from left to right. Longitude is from uh, south to the north or north south. Yeah, longitude is east west position. Latitude is northwest. I mean, uh, north south position. Who's shooting that Uh, the ground. I'm trying to see see my bullets, but I don't think I have tracers. Tracers for a sniper is bad. I'm not using a sniper, though. <laughs> I thought we'd be doing room clearing as well. Are you taking out more windows there, Graham? No, I'm just shooting at stuff on the roof of one of the buildings. Uh, okay.
For being a 762, this thing's pretty damn quiet. Sorry for the late, gents. No worries, Waffle. Uh, we know stuff comes in. What not. Yeah, sorry, guys. Uh, alright. So, who was gonna go next? Or, uh, no, I'm sorry, uh, Graham, go ahead. Uh... Can I hang up? Fenrir 11 Delta Zulu 75 fire mission target is two tents. I need five rounds each gun, one spotter at grid reference 056060. Um, you need to tell me the Gritter reference first, and then the rest of the stuff. Uh, Gritter reference is going to be 055060. Target is going to be two tents inside of a fenced, um, area. And I need five rounds, one spotter. Spotter round at my discretion. Five rounds after the five rounds will be at fire at will. Fenrir one two to Delta Zulu seven three. Target zero five six zero six zero. Soft target. Five rounds, all guns, one spotter at your command. Copy. Give me spotter round, please. Copy that. Spotter round. Outbound. That was the shot.
Hey, baby. What's up? What's the matter? Cold. Here. Mm. Maybe it's cold. Sorry, cold. How's your homework going? Love you. Hmm? I'm good. I like you too. Just this much. You don't know how much fits in you. If I'm not good at playing. You will be. Okay. Uh. Fender, one, two. Good hits, good hits. Fire for effect. Copy, 5 for effect, 5 rounds, all guns. What the hell rounds thing? away, time on target, 30 seconds. Copy. Hmm? I Big boom. A little bump. This thing? That thing that I was like squeezing for a while. Oh, yeah. That was. Oh, it's still there, kind of. Splash. Say goodbye to that, uh... Boop. You can say goodbye to that, uh... POW camp. Baby, 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 baby. <laughs> Hi. Why is that so? It's not 2 o'clock yet. <laughs> what happens at 2 o'clock? You were supposed to do this at 2 o'clock. What's at 2 o'clock? Huh? What's at 2 o'clock? What's at 2 o'clock? <laughs> what happens at 2? We have fun. No. Okay. <laughs> Good hits on target. End mission. Copy that. End mission. Whistler or Graham, you want to go next? Uh, Graham, just try using the uh, six-liner uh, instead of trying to do the keypad thing. I get confused as well. Oh, shit. That first one blocked my view. Uh, they're still standing. God damn it. What's happening? What happens to <laughs> They heard you. Hello. Good thing I'm not transmitting right now. You know I'm recording this, right? And it wasn't your anus, because I wasn't anywhere near your anus. I was on your butt. Ow! Don't be afraid to ask for help. What's happening? Uh, Graham, you're up. Oh. Don't be afraid to ask for help. You know how long it took me to actually get good at this shit? Wait, so are we not doing keypads or what? Uh, we can do whatever you like. 
10 grid or keypad. Um, eight grids are usually what's accepted, but uh, you don't need to do those if you don't feel comfortable with them. Right, on, on the top row of, of uh, grids, am I going, is the square on the left of the number or the square on the right of the number? Um, the square, if it's like 056 to 057, the square is between those two numbers. 056 is going up to 057. It's always to the positive. Okay. So, top, remember, top row is right, bottom is up. Fenrir 1-2, this is Lucky Charles 1-1, one, one, fire mission. Fenrir 1-2, fire mission ready. It's grid 061055, keypad 7, target type building, uh, high explosive, request time of flight, unit fire 1, rounds 2, perfect. Uh, I missed that last part, please retransmit. Units to fire one, rounds to fire two, fire for effect. Copy, read back. Grid is 061055, 7, hard target, request HE, time of flight, one, uh, one gun, two rounds, fire for effect. Copy. Copy that laying gun. Do that to yourself, you're fighting me. Fire for effect ready, rounds away. Flash. Rounds complete, mission complete. Ready for next tasking. Fenrir 1 2, repeat last. Uh, two units, two rounds. Copy. Fenrir 1 2, repeat last fire mission. Grid 061055, keypad 7, hard target AG. Request time of flight. 2 by 2, 5 4 effect. Over. Uh, 
Copy. Firing rounds away, time of flight 30 seconds. Shot, over. What are you going for, Graham? Oh, that agricultural building right in front of us. Uh, Just the bridge. Damn, Round complete, mission complete, ready for new tasking. Did you get it? No, they're they're right around us, but nice. no direct hits. I could tell him to re-engage. Nah, I'd be alright. Uh, the agriculture agriculture building with the uh, bunch of uh farms around it, the hay. Yeah, and the spills. Right there? Yeah, that one. Nice one. Fuck those cows. <laughs> uh, where's where you wanna go? Uh, Waffle, can we switch out the, uh, uh, 105s for, uh, one of the MRL S's? What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can get you some ibuprofen. Well, you have to let it breathe after a while. <laughs> you need to take it off and let it breathe. Yeah, it's probably because you left it in the bandage on, babe. I can't rough out with your jump on. <laughs> yep, Fairmere 1 4 is on station now. Copy, Fenrir 1 4, fire mission for you. This is Delta Zulu 7 5. Delta Zulu 7 5, Fenrir 1 4, fire mission ready. Coordinates 0 6 1 0 5 5. Give me three rounds, high explosives, one spotter. Uh, fire the spotter. On command, the three rounds fire at will. Copy, we carry cluster. Copy, that's what the spotter round is for. I just want to make sure. You might uh, get a retasking after that for different chords. Copy. Fire spotter round whenever possible. Copy, we are ready. One round out. Say goodbye, cows. And uh, everything else within range. <laughs> Time of flight, 40 seconds. Round away. How are, how accurate are these waffle? Those are was curious how accurate these are waffles. Say again. I was just wondering how accurate they are. Uh, 
And th yeah, they're good to within a couple kilometers. Oh, shit. <laughs> a couple kilometers? Yikes. Give me another spot around same cords uh, vineyard one one uh one four. What was that? Oh shit. Uh what was that? that, that, that was the spot around. Uh, never mind. Cancel that. <laughs> that. That's the thing. That's the thing I forgot to tell you guys. Um, rocket artillery is very inaccurate. It is meant to be an area suppression weapon. So be out of range completely. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's okay. They'll all fire three more rounds. Uh, the explosion was way the hell over there. I saw it above uh my target. And it ended up over here. That's crazy. Fenrir 1-1. One, one. Quick action, quick action. Got a... Grid reference 06170... Five five eight four rounds fire at will. Now those are on target. Now that's a no man's land, I believe in. Uh, somebody say goodbye anything within that range. Aren't you glad you're not on that uh, bridge right there? Yeah, that's my snipe target right now. Uh, yeah. You going for that thousand meter shot through the glass again? Oh, I've already done twelve hundred. Oh, was that you that shot the guy on top of the building? That was me. No, I was shooting hey. at windows. I didn't even know there was a guy on top of a building to shoot. He didn't last very long. Didn't expect him to. Like one shot. Hit him in the shoulder, then the head. Nice. It looks like my sniping training is actually paying off. It's weird. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm using the range card in the A tracks, and then I have to um, bump it up a bit. Hey Waffle, can we get a arsenal box behind us so I can swap to sniper? Shelf. Who was uh, doing shift tilde? That's where it pointed. Hey, waffle copy. Yeah, 
wind's currently in our favor. What is it, right at us? It's actually a tailwind. It's not wind. Oh, no wind. Nice. Oh. You should just press Shift K and that'll give you an instant clock and rough odds of the wind oh, direction. Yeah, every time I've, I press Shift K, it's always been a circle. Except for now. Oh, it's... Oh, it's a tailwind. Okay. If you see a circle, there is no wind. Or you're blocked, one of the two. It's possible too. You may actually not be able to read the wind if you're prone. Oh, you can. It depends. Waffle, you're there, copy? Waffle, are you still in? Copy. I'm not hearing you on long or short range, Goat Dozer. Are you st are you still on 100, Whistler? Yeah, 150. Uh, ready to check? 100. Nope. Okay. My radio's done. Fuck my radio reset. Oh, it's at the channel five for some reason. Should work now. Uh, radio check. Five five. Muffle must just be out running around again. I would like to. UAV to play with. Actually, okay, for a little while. I'll see you guys probably about 15, maybe 20, if we're still here. I heard, uh, hey, Whistler. Me. Hey, Whistler. Hey, firm. You wanna go? Alright, a quick one, and then I gotta go. Yeah, we're just going to have to wrap it up here as well, unless you guys want to continue. Yeah, I got an AFK after this. Just yeah, them are welcome to. Hmm? I always like training. Uh, Waffle, is it possible if we can get an arsenal box behind us? Yes. Why? I want to swap my loadout to a sniper. Okay. Sneaky Fenrir, over. Give me a sec to get this box down. Sorry. For Fenrir, over. Copy Fenrir 1 1, 1 2, 1 3, or 1 4. Fenrir 1 1. Copy Fenrir 1 1. Ready for fire mission. We have 10. Fenrir 1-1 one, one to Sneaky, fire mission, grid 061057-1010, HE, fire for effect. Copy, guns ready, fire mission. 
firing. Rounds away. See you, Whistler. Okay, last one, and then I'm gonna shut the server down, because, uh, real life unfortunately calls. Uh, who wants to take it? Can we get a, uh, guy in a truck, or in a vehicle, at the, uh, bridge right there? Masara Bridge or Tamir Bridge? Uh, stand by and let me look. Tamir Bridge, uh, grid reference is going to be 0 059 er 9 er 0 9 er This is going to be a uh, sniper only, not any of uh, Fenrir's.
be firing. No, not yet. I'm um, pretending to, that he has a uh, he has a meeting going on with other people around him, and he's a HVT that we have to take out. Plus, I just got my sniper loadout, so nothing's configured. Well, full. I have the micro. Oh, never mind.
What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh. What the fuck? Hold I on. don't know. What rounds were you using? Dude, I'm using an M2010 ESR. 300 wind mag. I saw, I saw the round hit the windshield. And then the car exploded. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Put the car down again. Uh, Mark 248 Mod 1. Using the XM 2010. Wow, okay, hold on. 300 let, let Winchester. Me, let me try. Let me, let me try a different car, okay? Uh, wait till I turn this shit around. Hang on. You wanna go, Graham? Yeah, firing now. Nice shot. Okay. I saw the guy no, die first. Are you using explosive rounds? I'm using a 408, a 305, Graham. 350, uh... Graham. Shit is here, exploding. Let, let, me, let me let me just here. Let me just do this. Oh shit! Fire at it. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Dude, this gun is. Holy shit, I could pin a challenger in one shot. What the fuck is that? What is that? I don't know. I have a 300 wind mag. I don't know what's going on. What in the heck? <laughs> Can you put out another one, Wolfle? Another challenger? Either. Either. Oh my god! Uh, okay, uh... I'm recording this. I've been recording this. Something wrong! Yes, there is! What? No, you have to... You have, you have to shoot. Uh, uh, okay, try this. Hang on. Watch this shit. Okay, so he's firing, right? Okay. <laughs> I hit it three times and nothing. He hits it once. And it goes through it and blows the son of a bitch up. What the fuck is that? Can you see that shit? What? So I know. Yeah. Okay, this is stupid. Yeah, um, I'm putting uh, this. Okay, hang on. Let. Hmm. Okay, I'm switching. I'm switching magazines and putting an AP. You were doing it too, Graham. That's the crazy part. So I can pin a Challenger and a T-80 in one shot. something wrong with that gun um you think here no nobody nobody fire except for for him um i'm i'm hmm let 
Let me try the Merkava. You have AP loaded, right? Affirm now. I didn't have AP loaded before. Okay, go ahead and fire it. I fired and it did not explode. I'm going to switch ammo. Okay. Switching to the Mark something or other, 2, 3, 4, something, mod 1. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's ball, isn't it? It should be. Mm -hmm. Firing. I'm staring right at this thing. Oh. Okay. It's these okay. rounds. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, these rounds are called Mark 248 Mod 1. They are being banned. They, they are assault rounds. Um, let, let, let me, uh, <laughs> I don't even know how to fucking counter this. Uh... I don't think you can. I mean... Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck it now. Uh, oh, M41? Sorry. Try it. Uh, did you hit it? I don't know. Okay, I'm right down next to it. Yep, you hit it that time. I'm right down next to it. Fire it again. Okay, that was Graham. That was a hit. Hey, we found one that does not blow up. Okay, only Whistler fire. That's Dozer. Oh, I'm sorry, Dozer. Go ahead and fire Dozer. Okay, it's something to do with the tanks, because I'm standing right here next to it, watching the rounds hit. That is so weird. Why isn't this, that one blowing up? Here, let, let me, uh, hang on. Let me, let me see this shit. Okay. So don't shoot at anything yet, I just want to set everything up. Okay, so, Merkava. Don't shoot. Okay, full health and everything. Uh, armor. Yeah, okay, so it's it's still full health. I've reset everything. And there's a badger IFV. Go ahead and shoot the badger first real quick. Uh, tell me when. Just dozer. Just dozer. Shoot the badger. Dozer is firing at Badger. I saw that round hit. Yep, you hit it in the wheel. Uh, nothing happened. Fire at the Merkava. Firing now. It go boom. Okay, okay. <laughs> what the fuck is this? this I don't even know where I hit it. No, I saw you hit it. You hit it in the side of the turret. In the side of the turret. Okay. I saw you hit it in the side of the turret. This is stupid. <laughs> Alright, though, guys. I'm sorry. It's getting on three hours, so I'm going to need to shut the server down in a minute. Uh, is there anything else you wanted to do real quick? Nope, I'm good, Waffle. What do you want to do? Cool, so, yeah, unfortunately we do have a time limit. Not uh, self-imposed, but just because of mods and stuff and instability. Um, I did actually test, though. We can go up to nine hours with our current mod set without cup. So that's another thing.
Oh, do you have to go, guys? I'm really sorry about that. Have a good night. You too, Waffle. Bye. Oh, um, and then also... Channel switched. You guys are clear for artillery spotter qualifications. Uh, Graham, you need to retake it. Graham, what the fuck is that? What, what the fuck? Whistler, look at Graham. Uh, what slur is AFK, I think? <laughs> when I fail. <laughs> you fold yourself in half. Maybe what you know? I can see it through looks, the rock. It looks really disturbing, honestly. Oh, God. Alright, I'm gonna go. I'll put Auntie Stasi up, though, okay? Okay. I found the gun that I'm gonna take against the uh, challenger whenever we go User up against left one. Your channel. You were moved. I found the gun that I'm gonna go up against the challenger with. User joined your channel. Yeah, there's something wrong there. That that should not be happen.